like the 20th anniversary they might be trying to now, right? Like, well, we aren't the original members of the band, but if John and John, the original guys, were here, we <laughs> have some stories to tell. Make a hole with a gun perpendicular. They might be giants. They might be rain. They might be heat. They might be frying up a stalk of wheat. They've really been the vanguard of alternative, and I think that their importance can't be underestimated. I think I probably met him in the hallways of our junior high school. We were sort of fully expecting it to be this glittering punk rock heaven, and there was just kind of nothing left. Some musicians just thought they were ridiculous. And then I became obsessed with the record. The more clear it became that the Giants were going national, the more itchy people got. You're the most successful independent group in the States now, aren't you? Yeah, but I mean, that's sort of like being the world's tallest midget. Because everyone's your friend in New York City. People are filing out of the theater at this moment. No, right. That's not right. You didn't enjoy it. You never believed it. And there's just so much to say. The best thing about New York City is you and me. You're probably wondering if there was sex exchange. Ah! <laughs> OK, this isn't like a Penny Baker documentary. This is, is this more like a fluff piece? It's beautiful when you're young and pretty. Everybody dies frustrated and sad, and that is beautiful. You know, kind of a downer idea. <laughs> like that, that was the thing that came to somebody's mind.